and help. Oh, sorry. Um, so, I'm going to do as much of this as I can. It's been like 20 minutes now. Uh, sorry. Okay, practice ideas for the weekend. Number one, sorry, is scale. Um, keep getting to the frog, letting your elbow follow through. Okay. So I'm going to do the tennis things after I do the scale. Sorry, <laughs> that's the computer. I thought it was something else. Anyways, now I think it is fine. Not like that, but and not like that. So I think it's fine. Now I'm onto the arpeggio. Uh, so I'm gonna do separate rows first, and then three slip. Okay. Sorry, I have a bath. I'm going to 
to work on some other stuff tonight. We can try to do the theory thingy. Um. Uh, Are you recording? Yeah. Is it plugged in so you don't lose charge? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm getting this started. Um, you texted me, so I was muting. Anyways, the workers. Okay, on this, I have to. Okay, um, before I do all the steps, do three epocolates. Oh, that's just. Try it, um, soft thumb tapping and then play through. Um, try number six, thinking about cake names to being inky hovering over the instrument. Soft thumb taps. <laughs> um, so, I'm gonna do number six only. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking of you. Just repeating the line again, Aaron. Septic. What I do, I'm septic. I'm going to set my beautiful violin down on here. Say, say, there's a balance beam right here. I'm not standing on it while I'm practicing. But uh, I'm gonna take this out and bring it with me wherever I have music. Um, so I have the Martian binder out right now, so I'm going to put that away. Hello. Hi. Hey, Do you have another one today? Oh, that's your last one. No. Really? <laughs> Anyways, um. So you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three up bow colleagues. Check that your bow isn't on the fingerboard. Okay. Listen to the tone of the note. That should sound like you plucked it. Yes. <laughs> um, then set your bow on the string. Suffer! <laughs> Um, and then curve your thumb and pinky to try to get the same plucked sound as your damn bow. Okay. 
Okay. Bow on the string. <laughs> okay, my thumb is curved. Two for two good notes. I did three. Um, not four, but three. Um, then, then do the steps if there's time. We have time. <laughs> I got it. I just want to see what you're doing. Okay. I'm doing the steps now. What are the steps? For the second subject. Okay. Can you show me? Mm-hmm. Can I ask you something? Uh, I, well, I'll talk to you about it later, but I, I'm not a fan of you wearing hair ties as bracelets. I don't think it looks nice. I can never find a hair tie because you've taken them all. And you have a whole closet full of bracelets. Right. Okay. Well, it just, it's just, it's also, if you're practicing violin, I want to be able to see your wrist. Okay, it's distracting. Especially on an exercise like this. I'm okay. sorry, but could you please try again? So, was that the sound that you're trying to get? Yeah, it's a pluck sound. Like okay, pluck. do it again so I can really hear it. Okay, so now what do you do? What's the next step? To do a down bow. Okay. And what are you supposed to do with your shoulder and your arm? Can I, can I feel? Okay. And is this an exercise that only the D string gets, or do, can you do it on another string? Oh, you can only do it on the D string. I'd like to hear it on the other strings and see if I can hear what the, if it does anything on those. Do an up bow first on like A. Well, if it doesn't sound amazing, that's okay. One of the reasons I'd like to hear it on the other string is because your arm's in a different position, and I want to see if you can keep this nice and relaxed. So if by changing strings, maybe you can focus on your shoulder and on the noise, okay? Here a G. Um, I'm, it's not good. Oh, well, does it have to be good to change yes. strings and do something else? Yes. Really? Okay. I, is that how your arm normally is? Is your elbow well, pointing? It's hard because then my arm gets so like. Oh, well, is it hard to do it while you're whining too? Let me try. It doesn't look that hard to me. I like how you almost dropped your bow hand. That's like a very loose grip, but isn't that what you're supposed to do here? Is that the right sound or not? Yeah, like a plucking sound. Like... Oh, I get well, it. Except, and what I practiced was just having my thumb and my first finger only thumb on the bow, and then just having them move the bow instead of. My and was own. that able to produce the exact sound that Eugene was is trying to do? It, yeah, well, I lifted when I did that. It kind of worked. Okay, well, um, I'm trying to figure it out, and I'll tell you what I figured out. Okay. But I didn't have a chance to do that because you started telling me what you were doing at orchestra, which is very confusing. Mm -hmm.
What else do you have to learn how to do? The tri the it has to be on the balance point. And yeah, it has to be near the balance point. So to me, here you go. To me, it feels like I'm actually kind of scratching my back. Like I have a little itch. It feels like a little itchy spot or a little tickled spot. That's what it feels like to me. And it feels like I'm actually kind of grabbing the string a little bit. I want you to stop making noises when I'm talking. I don't like it and I want it to stop. Okay. Forever. It's really rude. <laughs> you want me to do that to you when you're trying to concentrate? Mm -hmm. Well, then don't do it to me while I'm talking or trying to do something. It's very rude. You're all over there doing all this and humming. It's like, you know what it's like? It's like you get so many turns, and when it's someone else's turn, you can't share it. And yet you're getting the only turns. It's like you get all the turns, and when somebody else takes one little tiny turn, you steal it. Okay, this is mostly your turn. And we're all happy to give you all of the attention. When it's your lesson, all of the focus is, you're not even looking at me when I'm talking. You're looking somewhere else. No, you weren't. I know what eye contact looks like and what it doesn't. And I know what an eye roll is too. I'm not stupid. I could tell when someone's giving me 100% or when I'm getting less. And I want it all. I want every little smidge of your attention. All the way down to your armpit and your toe and your toenail. I want every bit of it. I don't want your fingers doing something else. You're not a two-year-old. You're almost 10. And you're old enough to give me your entire attention and your eye contact. Because when I'm watching you, that's what I do for you. And I can guarantee when Eugene's underneath your thumb looking, he's giving you 100%. So if you want to take 100%, which I see that you do, then you make sure you give 100% back. Okay. Deal? Yes. Good. Let's go. Show me on all the strings without pointing your elbow to the stars. I think you can do that. Just relax your shoulder and you should be able to, okay? Would you like me to fix it? Okay. Well, that's fine. I don't mind fixing it. The D is probably going to go out of tune too, so we'll just fix that too. The D is out of tune too. Okay, now you can tune it with your tuner, okay? So I don't mean to be super picky, but see if you can uh, see if you can not play on the fingerboard when you're tuning. Just bring it a little closer. try it on like the A string and the E string and I understand that he didn't choose those maybe it doesn't sound as nice or maybe it's harder but 
I think it's good when things are harder. Don't go on the fingerboard. Thank you for waiting. Good job. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? It's four o'clock. So you get to be relieved of me, and I think you can call Marsha. Your lucky day.